in the end of May, and Ann Morrison <laughs> is here. She's the Executive Director of the Human Rights Commission, and we're at the 31st Annual Awards Breakfast. Yes. How oh, great. Nice. It's, it's, it's a great turnout. Uh, I didn't know that this turnout was going to be big this year, but because of the community involvement, uh, the commission has been very active in the community. You've been very active and doing a lot of good things. A lot of good things, and we are all about community outreach and community service and making sure that our residents here in Schenectady County and also the Capital Region rights are protected and respected. So today is a day to be honored. Um, and you have uh, awards you're going to be giving. We're going to give away awards uh, to 31 uh, community groups, individuals, youth, and folks who work in justice, in the field of justice, just to recognize them for their diligence and hard work in the cause of human rights, social justice, and civil rights. And this is our way to say thank you for all that they the the community celebration does. Celebration Yes. So if you hear in the background folks coming in, getting ready to assemble themselves, that's that's why we're here. And you have a lot of politicians here. You have a lot of a people lot of that are involved in human rights, rights and, and yes. trying to get people to be aware of yes. these things. It's yes. so great to see you again. Thank and you, Anne. I won't keep you from saying hello to everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for interviewing me. Good. 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 Morning. Morning, everyone. Morning. Everyone's attention, please. I'll take a seat. We still have folks coming in. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying this fine morning. Meeting old friends, making new friends. standing for the singing of our national anthem.
sponsored by the Human Rights Commission. And I would, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, someone you all know and highly respect. We appreciate your opinion. Is this your first one? Yeah, it is. You like it? You know, this is my in each of the individual four categories, but everyone that has been nominated is, in fact, the winner. Uh, we're going to bring up now the, uh, Deacon James Konecki. He's going to be giving our invocation. Deacon Konecki. She has done in her tireless effort in support of our Human Rights Commission here in Schenectady County. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our Executive Director, Angelica Morris. Please come up. Malcolm's, the Mandela's, 
And we don't have the opportunity to thank those unsung heroes who fight this fight every day. So we don't have the opportunity to thank those organizations like the Schenectady Human Rights Commission uh, that has been a champion for all things social justice and equality. And so to have this opportunity to be here with you this morning um, is really an honor and a blessing. And so I bring the following greetings from the governor. Dear friends, it is a pleasure to send greetings to everyone gathered for this 31st Annual Human Rights Breakfast, hosted by the Schenectady County Human Rights Commission. New York State is recognized globally as a champion of equality and human rights, and is proud to be the home to organizations such as yours. We value the Commission's significant role in fostering respect among people in Schenectady County by working to eradicate racial, social, religious discrimination founded upon stereotypes and biases. You not only provide a voice for the underrepresented populations, but help build bridges of understanding between diverse communities by emphasizing our similarities rather than our differences as human beings. This morning, you come together to recognize individuals who uphold and promote the mission, and I applaud their contributions to realizing these goals. I also thank the entire commission for its leadership and impassioned advocacy for equality in our society and its dedication to the ideals of justice. With warmest regards and best wishes for an enjoyable morning. Sincerely, Andrew and Paul. Thank you, Reverend Palmer. Um, also, we want to recognize some special guests uh, our former executive director, friend, and confidant to me and to the commission, Brian Wright. City School Board member Anthony Owens. Um, I invite all to present to join the Commission in supporting us as we fulfill our legislative mandate and also for our responsibilities by advocating and protecting everybody's rights here in Schenectady County. And it's the mission of this organization is to continue to pursue social justice further collaborate with all local agencies and in our, our brothers and sisters in the capital region to build a better and brighter Schenectady County for everybody and to protect everyone's rights and for equality. So in closing, I would like to address all you nominees here today. We are here to celebrate and recognize you for your outstanding contributions to achievements here in the community as you demonstrate a selfless the dedication to betterment of the others, of others, and the betterment of our community. So you all are winners and leaders of distinction and achievement in your labor of love and service, dedication, and commitment to this great community for the cause of human rights, social justice, and civil rights <coughs> is something that you all, that we all can be proud of for making a difference, not only in our county, but in our children and our families' lives. So enjoy today's program and be empowered, inspired, and, and also be someone's solution, not someone's problem. Thank you. This. Um, we just, I'm going to speak for the entire school. Um, the students at Schenectady High School are amazing. And the students that are trained in Power of Peace and have worked all year in the last couple years to try to spread the word that everyone has a story and don't judge a book by its cover, they kind of say a lot. Um, the kids are amazing, they're very receptive, so I'd like to shout out to all the kids at Schenectady High School, they're an amazing group of kids. Uh, we're going to recognize individual from uh, our, crook, our justice area. And uh, all of the individuals are very, very accomplished, and they made significant contributions uh, to our county and to our city. Uh, the individual who we're going to give special recognition to is Karen Gray. Yeah.
team operates here in Schenectady in our county. Some of you may not be familiar with it, but it touches the lives of many families. And we just salute you for the work that you've done. Well, thank you very much. I am honored and I'm humbled. Uh, I have to tell you that um, I've been on the bench now for about 16 years. And what's been abundantly clear to me over the years is that I'd say about 65 to 75% of the individuals before me come before me because of drug-driven crimes. In other words, if it weren't for your addiction, you wouldn't be before me. So, in, as a result of that, um, Judge Idens and I started a drug court in 2001. And today we've had, we've screened 1,260 people. We've had over 1,000 participants come through our program. And currently I have 135 participants in my program, and 15 are waiting to be admitted. So it's, it's a big program. Let me just say this. I have the utmost respect for the participants in my program. I have to tell you, anyone that deals with their addiction, which is a chronic illness, is an arduous task. And those that give 150% to regain their sobriety, regain control of their lives, and become a productive member of society, what else can we ask for? So it's been my pleasure. I want to thank Ron Butler, the drug court team, for their dedication, experience, and compassion. Because without them, I would be lost. So again, thank you.
and made this event successful. I want to thank Price Chopper and Mona Cola who walked into the room later. But Mona, if you want to stand and with your team, we can start. Mansion team here. Always <laughs> but like all organizations, partners who supported us buying tables, bringing their staff and friends and colleagues out to make this successful. I want to thank all of our elected officials, Congressman Tomko and Senator Katchik, for taking out your time and your busy schedule to come be with us on a on a very nice morning to partake in very good food. You know, I didn't have some, I will have some. Um, but thank you. Uh, you're always here supporting us at everything that we do. To our city council members and county, everybody, thank you for being here. And for Michael Santana from the governor's office, thank you so much. Um, please don't be a stranger to Schenectady County. I know you're downstate, but we're all here upstate, and you are a new friend now. Thank you. Finally, uh, to our nominees and our winners, you know, I have just to share some few words of inspiration. Um, we have celebrated you in your leadership and in your commitment, sacrifice and your share of hard work. And a leader is someone who no matter what the odds will fight, you do what, what is right when it feels wrong or when you get the wrong results. Somebody that believes that if you can't help another person in any way, you have a moral obligation to help people, that's what a leader is. And we all are leaders, but you are an extraordinary leader in an in a un, unordinary way. A leader is somebody that cannot stand the very thought of injustice. So for me to you, Today, we can draw inspiration from you. Even if you didn't win a plaque, just know that you won somebody's heart and somebody's love to show them what it's like to be a leader and to help someone come, come up from where you came and to show them where you can go. And their, their future's bright because you are in it. So thank you all for attending. And I want to thank Wes Holloway and the team for doing a superb job. Go on, be all that you can be, because no matter what the odds come against you, you are more than a conqueror. You're not a victim, but you are a victim. A victim. Thank you for being here. God bless.
Glenn's Mansion, and uh, it's all that day the the celebration. Yes. Of it. So if you hear in the background folks coming in, getting ready to assemble themselves. That's that's why we're here. And you have a lot of politicians here. You have a lot of a people lot of that are involved in human rights and yes. trying to get people to be aware of yes. these things. It's yes. so great to see you again. Thank and you, Anne. I won't keep you from saying hello to everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for interviewing me. I I'm making sure that our residents here in Schenectady County and also in the Capital Region rights are protected and respected. So today is a day to be honored. Um, and you have uh, awards you're going to be giving. We're going to give away awards uh, to 31 uh, community groups, individuals, youth, and folks who work in justice, in the field of justice, just to recognize them for their diligence and hard work in the cause of human rights, social justice, and civil rights. And this is our way to say thank you for 